Hello and welcome to episode 13 of the No Code series. We left off with a form design and state model, very basic state model. We'll be picking up from there to create a record producer so we can create these leave requests via a portal. So I'm just going to start the timer and let's get on with it. So back in App Engine Studio, this is where we left the actual form. I just did a little preview of the form to have a quick look to see what it looked like and it seemed to be as I'd expect, which is good. We just go back home here to view what we've done so far and we're going to want to start adding in some experiences for a record producer. So I'm going to go add. We've got different types here. We've got a standard catalog item if we wanted to do that or record producer is good because we've got our own custom table. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, let's begin. So, a name, so um, request leave, short description, uh, request uh, vacation, or sickness leave. Let's just call it that for now. We're creating your producer. Job done, end of video. Not quite. Let's have a look. Let's go into the editing of the record producer because we need to choose where it's going. We need to choose um, what fields we need to fill in as part of this process. So this will go into what's called the, the catalog builder um, as part of uh, setting up this uh, record producer. So we can add in the likes of an image or um, a description. In fact, I could just attach the uh, the icon again, couldn't I, I guess? Um, we can include that. So destination, what table is this going into? This should help us out and just give us the one table. So interesting to see what it's going to search for. No, it's going to show a lot more, so uh, that's fine. So I'm going to go leave request. There we go. Continue to location. So we're going to include this in a particular catalog. So at the moment, we don't have our own separate catalog. Of course, we could um, ask for that to be created um, as well. I'm just going to put it into the standard service catalog just for ease. Um, of course, like I say, that could be added to um, and categories. This will show all the different categories. Uh, I'm just going to add it into can we help you? So I'll make sure that we can get to this. Uh, a lot easier from the portal. Let's go to the question sets. So we can either insert a question on the form um, or we could add a question set. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to call it leave request. Oh, does it not let you? So I thought you could insert a question set. That's a shame. Um, no problem. Well, let's just go for a standard question type then. It's a shame that these citizen developers can't then create a brand new uh, question uh, set. Okay, so question type. So the first one really is all about a, um, a choice um, of who the individual is. So that the one thing that's interesting in here is that our question types are very cut down. We've got text option which is just checkbox and yes or no we've got choice um, which is a uh, record reference which is sounds good to me for this one because I, I want to include here is uh, who is the requester requester that is mandatory so I'm going to say we need that bit of information source table that we want to get that from is users um, if we can, or user, sorry, sys user, if we can set a default value, see, this is where, um, if you need to make this, you know, a bit more clever to suggest that the default value is you, you'd have to enter in, you know, or the contextual you, um, you need to enter in some uh, JavaScript in there. So. Just for this example, I'm going to keep that as as is, and I'm going to insert that particular question. 
So now we have one question there. I'm going to insert a new one. And I am going to go new question. And then we want to know type, don't we? So choice. And we want to do... What do we want to do? Let's do radio buttons. And let's go type. Mandatory, of course. Choices are... So we could have just driven this from the field instead of creating new choices. So we could just go uh, vacation and sickness. There we go. Default value, I'm going to set to none. But of course, it's mandatory for you to select something. Um, okay. Let's go to insert question. We're out of time, but we will complete uh, the form here. And maybe we want to change up a bit. So um, let's go for a, a title here of um, time frame. So we're creating a, a container in here. And here we want a new question for date. So date time. Hopefully we just do date. So there we are. And we want to question label. Set this to start date. And there's something that we need to do for all of these as well, um, which we will come back to in a second. And new question for date, date, end date, mandatory, insert question. Obviously we're going to add some, we can try and add some logic afterwards as well. And then afterwards, once you've got your start date and end date, we want to add in a justification. So multi-line justification. like that. I'm not going to keep that mandatory at the moment because we might want it to be only mandatory if the type is a certain type. So we'll have to have a look at how we do that as a citizen developer. So we've got justification, we've got start date, end date, the type and the requester. And again, we don't have the logic in here to say the requester is the current person. We don't have the logic to say justification is mandatory if the type is if the type is um, vacation. So what I do want to do in here is if I go back into each of these, because we do want to map that to a particular field to the opened by. So I'll save that. And also type. We do want to map that to a specific field for, uh, I think we call it leave type leave type, save, and start date, we'll map that to, I think it's leave start date, and end date, we'll map that to leave end date, I mean, this seems quite a simple process so far. The catalog builder is pretty good for this, I think. it's um, Unfortunately, we wasn't able to add it into a set, but maybe that wouldn't necessarily be understood by, um, by citizen developers because sets can then be reused, example. Um, so justification as well, we'll just map to the justification field. Save. Okay. So before we go any further and try and add some logic into here, if we've got it, so we've got behaviors, so maybe, um, let's pause it there in our record producer creation. And then the next one, let's try and add a little bit of logic to it.